Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about a pattern program that is how we can print stars in the hollow right triangle shape. We already discussed about this pattern right that is how we can print stars in the right triangle shape but today we are discussing about the hollow right triangle shape that is this shape. Ok so let's start the program. First, here in our program, we'll ask the user to enter the number of rows, okay? That is, we are writing a general program which will give output for any number of rows, okay? Okay, so in the Python file, first, we'll take one variable which will hold the entered input, okay? So I'll take variable name as n and here we'll use input function to take input from the user. Here I'll write a message which will display on the screen that is enter the number of rows ok and here this input function will take input as strings that is if I enter number of rows as 5 then it will treat that as the string value and it will store that string value 5 in the variable n. But here we want an integer value, right? Number of rows are the integer value. So we want an integer value. So we need to convert this string value to integer value. So for that I am using int function here. So here this input function will take input as the string value. Now here we use the int function so that it will convert that string value to integer then that integer value will be stored in the variable n okay and next okay this is our output and here we can see stars in different row and column these are the columns and these are the rows so we want to print stars in the different row and column so for that we are using the nested for loops that is we are using two for loop one for loop is to print stars in the row and another one is to print stars in the column and we are using one for loop within the another so we are using nested for loops here and in the nested for loop there will be outer for loop and inner for loop right here outer one is the for loop for row and the inner one is for loop for column because here we are printing stars like this when row is equal to 0, we will check for the column 0, next column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4. After printing this star, we will go for the row 1 and we will again check for column 0, column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4. So here outer for loop is this row for loop and inner for loop is column for loop. Okay, that is nothing but here first we are writing the for loop for rows. Okay and for and here we need to take any variable i'll take variable as row you can take any name okay so in here i'm using range function range function can generate sequence of numbers right here we want that zero row first row second row third row fourth row like that sequence of numbers right for that we are using this range function okay and now we need to enter the range that is start and end. So I'll take range as 0 to n. Okay. So here I'll mention n. That means range is from 0 to n. That is if I enter the number of rows as 5, then it will give output as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So there will be 5 rows. If you enter 6, then it will take range as 0 to 6. Then it will give 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so here in the output we can see, okay, here n value is 5, so it contains 5 number of rows. And inside this for loop, we are taking another for loop, because of this it is called as nested for loop. And here this for loop is for column, so here call is the variable name, if you want you can change. Here also I am using range function, and here I need to mention the column range. Here also I'll mention the range as 0 to n. Okay. It's because uh, 
here we can see here five rows are there as well as five columns are there right so number of rows are equal to number of columns here so here we mentioned the same range okay that is 0 to n that is if we entered the input as 5 then our output will contain 5 rows and 5 columns okay so now if i write the print function it will print stars in each row and each column okay that is uh, something like this if i mention number of rows as 5 it will take 5 rows and 5 column it will print star in each row and each column right so i don't want this i want this right so so to print stars in this shape we need a condition so to mention the condition we need conditional statement that's why here i am using if else conditional statement here if keyword after that i need to mention the condition that is in which row and column you want to print star here i need to mention the row and column where i want to print star okay so here first we'll divide our output into three parts so it will become easy this is my first part okay and this is my second part and this is the third part okay so this is the first part this is the second part and this is the third part here you may think this star is repeating as well as this star if it is repeating also it won't affect the output why that i'll explain you later okay okay for now we'll write the condition so first is we can see in the column 0 we want to print star right these stars so my first condition will be i'll check whether column is equal to equal to 0 if it is true then i want to print star okay this is my first condition so we are done with this that is these stars okay so now we need to concentrate on the star so to print these stars we can see this is at row 4 okay so at the last row we want to print star okay this is the output when n value is 5 okay so here the last row is 4 this is the output when n equal to 5 and this is the output when n equal to 6 here we can see at the last row we want to print stars right so here in this output it is 0 1 2 3 and 4 fourth row and here we can see it is 0 1 2 3 4 and fifth row so generally we can say we want to print star at n minus one row right here if n value is 6 then n minus 1 means fifth row here n value is 5 means n minus 1 means fourth row right so next we want to check when row is equal to n minus 1 we want to print this star so my next condition will be i'll check whether row is equal to equal to n minus 1 this is because we are writing a general program here we are writing the program to print stars in the n row so we want to print star at the last row and last row is n minus 1 okay so here we are checking whether row is equal to equal to n minus 1 and this is the logical or operator and in the logical or operator if any one of this condition is true it will print star okay that's why i mentioned or here so next or and we'll write the another condition here we are done with this part and this part now we need to concentrate on these stars so here we can see this star at row 0 column 0 this is row 1 column 1 this is row 2 column 2 this is at row 3 column 3 this is at row 4 column 4 that means when row is equal to equal to column i want to print star right so here i'll check whether row is equal to equal to column okay these are my three condition to print star so here colon and inside the if body i'll write print function and here i want to print star right in the print function by default end value will be slash n that is after printing this star control goes to the next line but here i don't want that i want control to be in the same line 
that is uh, at row 0 column 0 it will print star after that actually control will go to the next line but here in our program i don't want that i want control remain here only okay in the same line for that we need to change the end value to empty string now control will remain in the same line okay next if this condition become false we need to print space like in our output we can see other than the star we want to print space also in some places right here 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 we can see so here i'll take else and i'll here print end is equal to space okay here i mentioned end is equal to space because after printing space i want control to be in the same line for example here it will print space here and to print next space i want control to be in the same line right here here so that's why here i mentioned end is equal to space okay all right next inside the first for loop i am using print here i'm not using end because here i am using this print function for new line that is because here uh, after printing star in one row okay i want to go to the next line right to print star here so that's why i used print here that to in the first for loop this for loop is to print stars in the row right after printing stars in one row i want new line that's why here i mentioned print function okay here end value is slash n so control goes to the next line all right so now we need to save this and run this okay now we can see a message is displayed that is enter the number of rows i'll enter 5 so here we can see the output so if i enter number of rows as 10 so here we can see the output right okay now we'll see how actually this code will run so for that okay first this message will be displayed on the output screen okay enter the number of rows we saw that right so if you enter the input as 5 that 5 will be stored in this variable n okay now n value is 5 next control goes to the next line that is for loop for row in range okay here range is 0 to n n value is 5 so range function will give output as 0 1 2 3 4 okay so row value can be 0 1 2 3 4 okay initially row value will be 0 okay. after that control goes to the inside the for loop and here we can see another for loop okay this is for column here range is from 0 to n so this is also give output as 0 1 2 3 4 okay here we can see and initially column value will be 0 okay so call value will be 0 and after that control goes to the inside the for loop body and it will execute the if condition here we can see the condition it will check for the condition that is first condition is column is equal to equal to 0 so here it will check whether column is equal to 0 yes true right now column is 0 so so it will directly go to the if body and it will execute this instruction that is print it won't check for the next condition because logical or is also called as short circuit evaluation because of that property if the first condition is true then it won't check for the next condition it will directly go to the if body and it will print the next instruction that is here that is print function so it will print star at that place here this star will be printed and here we can see end is equal to empty string so control remains in the same line here okay next this else part will be skipped and control again go to this follow now column value is 1 now row value is 0 and column value is 1 
okay this star is already printed control is here now again control goes to the for body and it will check for the condition if condition it will check for the first condition that is whether column is equal to equal to zero no it is not true because column is column value is one now so this is false so so it will go to the next condition that is row is equal to equal to n minus one no this is also false because here row value is zero and n value is five five minus one is four row value is not equal to four here because row value is zero so this condition also false so it will go to the next condition it will check whether row is equal to equal to column no it is not because row value is zero and column value is one this is not equal so all the condition become false so control goes to the else part and it will print space here right here we can see okay next again control goes to the for loop now column value is two okay same happens with the column three and column four okay it will print space here once the column is equal to four it will print space here and here column range is over right so so control come out of this for loop and it will execute the next instruction that is print as i said this is for new line so control goes to the next line here and after printing this control goes to the main for loop here previously row value was 0 now row value become 1 okay again control goes to this for loop and here it will check for range 0 to n so 0 to 5 that means 0 1 2 3 4 initially column value become 0 now row value is 1 and column value is 0 okay again it will check for the if condition so first condition is true that is column is equal to equal to 0 so it will print star here okay it won't check for the other condition again control goes to this for loop and now column value become 1 and again control go to the if condition it will check for column is equal to equal to 0 no it is not true so it will check for the next condition whether row is equal to equal to n minus 1 no this is also not true because row value is 1 not 4 so again it will check for the next condition whether row is equal to equal to column now it is true because column value is 1 row value is 1 so it will print star here in the same way it will execute this program okay here guys i am using python 3.5.1 and here in the python 3 print is a function but if you are using python 2 then there print is not a function it is just a statement if you use this code in the python 2 you will get error if you are using python 2.7 then you need to write code like this that is till here it is same and here we can see print is a statement not function so you need to write print like this and you can't use end here instead of that to get the same output you need to use the comma here in the python 3 we used end is equal to space here you need to write space and comma so this comma will keep the control in the same line okay and here we can see this print it is for new line so here if i save this and run this it will ask the enter the number of rows if i enter 6 and here we can see the output and uh, be careful about the font style guys uh, some may not get the proper output because of that if we go here option and configure ideally here we can see the font styles sometime because of this font style you may not get proper output so be careful about that okay that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll meet you next class till then take care